Ali's the first one with his hand up, which we'll pass it down to Ali. Hello, Jose. Um, what did you make of the performance today and also that <coughs> debut goal from Steven Bergwijn? The debut goal? How do you say? The ice on the cake or the cake on the ice? Or? Icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. Have a very good performance. Independent of the goal, I think his performance was very good, very solid, very mature. We work hard during the week. He came to us Tuesday, so he had a complete week to work and to try as fast as possible to understand what we wanted from, from him. So very good, solid performance against such a difficult opponent like uh, Kyle Walker. But then he was clever enough to appear also in, in other zones and to try to to create some problems to to City. So very, very good performance. Also defensively, uh, very aware of his position, um, defending zonal, covering spaces, very good. And then, of course, the goal is is a great goal and so important for us. OK, got to Gary over there. Jose, congratulations. Thank you. I know you've said it before, you were saying it in November, but uh, is today the day that the title goes to Liverpool? I had the feeling uh, early in, in November when I was with you and I had that feeling and uh, I know how difficult it is to win a, a third league in a row. It's hard, it's difficult, but they are still a fantastic team. Uh, fantastic team, fantastic players, fantastic manager. So for us to beat them, it's very good, and the way the table is, you lose two matches, you almost go to relegation, you win two matches, you get up, and uh, what's so important for us, so, so important. Okay. Right over there, uh, back to Rob. Hi. Um, obviously it worked out okay in the end with the score, but the way the penalty incident happened in the first half, do you want a bit of clarification over how far play can be rolled back and what did you make of just how long it took to Look, I, if the ball doesn't go out, the ball doesn't go out. So if the ball doesn't go out for three minutes or ten minutes, uh, you have to play and then when the ball is out, the decisions are to make. But the right decisions, not the wrong decisions. And the more time the ball is in play, the more time the VAR has to watch replays and replays and replays. So one more reason to, to give the right decision. But the game starts immediately with the wrong decision. It's a red card. It's a direct red card to Sterling. Take down in front to Matt, please. Is it, is it also a red card for Sterling for a second yellow? Has he got away with two there? I don't know. I know that he's a... Is, is a direct red card immediately in the beginning of the game. I know that, that Mike Dean has a difficult job. He is on the pitch. He's 200 miles per hour. I wouldn't love to be a referee because it's so difficult. Sometimes I try in training sessions and I realize that it's too difficult. So for me, Mike Dean, good performance. The problem is the VAR. OK, Sammy. We'll take two more after this, if there are two more. Yeah, Sammy. That's four points now, I think, from Chelsea. Where, where does it leave your challenge for the top four? It's four points for Chelsea, but it's maybe one point to Sheffield or, mm. or two points to United or two points to Wolves or something like that. So we look up, we also look... Uh, we also look down. And... Um, I look to, to, to my team, I look to my squads with uh, the problems we had with, uh, with injuries. It's going to be hard. Uh, if we lose Dele Alli, I cannot imagine. Uh, I don't know. Um, I know that the players were fantastic. I know that the players were fantastic. I know that they are ready to give everything like they did. But I, I really don't know. Uh, let's go, match after match. We have a, a difficult one now for FA Cup in two days. Let's see. But I'm so, so pleased for the boys and, uh, and so pleased for the fans too. Is there an impact problem on, with um, Ali's ankle there? You mentioned Ali. Yeah. Yeah. Since that moment he was... Can I stay on the pitch or no? 
uh, half time the same discussion beginning of the second half the same the same discussion and then you realize that uh, that you couldn't carry on okay last question from James Josie. down here Josie, when you had your last period out of management, you, you talked about missing the game, missing the adrenaline. Uh, are these the kind of nights, the big occasions that you missed the most when you were out of management? No, I love football. Um, and I thought I was going to love VAR. That's, that was my initial feeling. I like the truth. Um, so when your colleague was asking about playing for three minutes and then after three minutes... If the VAR gives a penalty, if it is a penalty, no problem. We can wait 10 minutes. I just want the truth. I thought I was going to love VAR the same way I love goal line technology. Even if it, even if I don't win a game because of one inch, like it happened at Watford, I love goal line technology because there is no mistake. Um, and the VAR is too many mistakes. Too many mistakes, and but that doesn't take out my my pleasure, of course. And fantastic week to work with the with the boys, and so happy to see their happiness. And uh, that's good. And the fans has been fantastic with the team in a season that was not an easy one, and always with the team. So they also deserve this kind of. Uh, special happiness of winning against such such a top team like City is. Okay guys, thank you very much. Thank you.